Welcome back to Soma. We're in a new body that's in the power suit, which should allow us to withstand the pressures of the abyss. So I think it's time to go down. Also, do you know what I'm thinking of? Robo Shark. Hmm. I'm seriously worried about Robo Shark. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess that's not the way. The ladder's been broken, probably by. Robo Shark. Okay, those are fish. They might be Robo Fish, I don't know, but they're not Robo Sharks. This must be the Descender. Oh, hey! How's it going? It's one of the cute bots. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the Clara, please. Sure thing. Probably need to adjust this for the right weight, I'm guessing. Descend. Take a seat and we'll be off. I swear Robo Shark's gonna be a thing here it's soon. Good luck, right? I woke up in the right body. It's a redundant copy. I'll never experience my journey, the full journey. He wouldn't understand. How could he? I couldn't do it, and you knew it. You were right in trying to hide him from me. Only wish you'd done a better job. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right sign. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and... The sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. 
The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. <laughs> if not, you still have... Catherine? Kath? Hello, Catherine. What happened? The power died. Nah, I really don't want to go out there. At least in here, I'm fairly safe from the robo shark that is inevitably going to eat me. <gasps> Whoa! Look at that. It's beautiful. Fine, I'll get eaten for the robo eaten by the robo shark for the privilege of looking at those things unobstructed. The power blacked out for a moment. Think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. <laughs> does... does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted more than omitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. It's getting hard to see. They did say they'd follow me. I guess they did. Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something happened. Oh, 
something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. Spoke to me. Looks like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. I'm glad it didn't. Yeah, me too. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the Abyssal Plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. I the author you has been here. We're following in your own footsteps, Cat. When I had footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere, technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Alright, let's head for town and find that art. Can sharks live in the abyss? Normal sharks? I don't know. Robo sharks? Probably. Look, maybe this robo shark thing isn't actually gonna be a thing, but I kind of feel like it might be a thing. Because if there's one good thing, like if there's one, one thing that you would want to exploit when it comes to people's fears of being underwater or in water, or around water, it would be sharks. tell this is definitely the if not the origin point of something it's at least a lot closer to the origin point of of these growths because it's everywhere what? was that lightning it sounded like freaking thunder Obviously you couldn't hear that from the surface. You can't hear a damn thing from the surface this far down. So what was that? Let's look at the oldest entry, which would be top down. Okay. Signed Julie Dell, Richard Holland, sample collection. There's a thunder again. Why am I hearing thunder underwater? Sample collection, physical checkups. Same day. Check. Like a month later. Tell evacuation. Same day. Failed. A couple months later. Signed by a bunch of people. Bringing the Arctify. Signed remote, and no information. Is that those jellyfish? Oh my god, it is! They're so pretty! Hold on, I think there's a pathway over here to the left.
Ah, nothing here. Probably supposed to hit this, although I don't know why I would want to at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to do it just yet. I don't want a repeat of the incident of accidentally killing Amy. Don't pull something unless you've got a good reason to. Fault line activity, strong torrents expected. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, we are at the bottom of the sea. Plate tectonics will be a thing. Maybe that's what I'm hearing? Would that sound like... kind of like thunder? I don't think so, no. It wouldn't quite sound like that. It'd be deeper, more rumbly. That just sounds straight up like literally thunder. What the hell am I even looking at? Obviously it's the remains of a person, but... Okay, there's the head. Where's the rest of the body? Did you see that? Stick to the lamplights. They won't go near them. I can't, Valglasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Ross, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's over there! The light is over there! Final push, Ross. Almost there, we just... <laughs> I think I got eaten by a fucking robo shark. It's gonna be a robo shark, I'm telling you. It's gonna be a robo shark. He has just been completely, completely torn apart. Head separated from the body, there's part of a leg? The other leg's just gone. Jesus. You said they stay away from the light. So I guess light's my safety from something. <laughs> Danger. Stay close to the lights. Blue to Tau, red to the climber. So I want to go to the climber, right? Yeah. And... I don't really see any lights. Uh, there's some, like, really, really, really dim red ones over there. That could be it, but maybe I just need to turn on the power, and that's what these power switches are about. I'm gonna go flip this one. I'm assuming it's gonna turn on some lights. And I want as many lights on as possible. Yep, there we go. Ooh, that feels better. Hey! be a freaking robo shark I know it it's gonna be a robo shark oh it looks so cool okay the thing is though those aren't blue or red 
So, I don't get it. But I want to see what these little lights are about. I mean, they are red. They're super dim, though. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be here, actually. No, I don't, I don't think I'm really supposed to be there. <laughs> what are these solar panels? Like, any light's gonna come from the surface? That looked a lot bigger than a shark. That's from the tectonic activity. safer in here. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna close this. <sighs> okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Could it be this thing? Could it be a giant octopus? That's the scientific name of it. I don't know if that means giant octopus. I'm not even going to try to pronounce those. Let's see, anything useful. Aw, oh, they're all out of dried squid. Dang it. Wait, did I say giant octopus? I meant giant squid, I think. What's the difference between a squid and an octopus? I just realized I don't actually know. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a big difference. <laughs> well, anyway. Looks like somebody tried to kind of like write in the dust on the screen too, but I don't know what it says. Or maybe they just tried to wipe it. But it kind of looks like letters. Anyway. Lures. Uh, looks like they're out of almost everything. Empty, empty, empty. Yeah. Out of pretty much everything except for artificial lures. Let's see. Observation 134. Uh, setup. Lure. Dried squid, 1 kilogram. 60 pieces of blah blah blah. Cameras. Okay, low light cameras. Results. Target frilled shark, 150 centimeters. Rare shark approached the luminous lure, circled around to eat the dried squid. Unlikely that it frequents this depth. An anomaly. Observation 172. The lure was blue marlin, 42 kilograms, which is a hell of a lot. Yeah, giant squid. Yep, target giant squid. 1200 centimeters. <laughs> Mantle the size of a man, 170 to 200 centimeters. Estimated length of the whole thing, 10 to 12 meters. A frantic attack tore the marlin apart. As soon as we turned on the lights, it quickly fled the area. Yep, that's what the lights are about. To keep the giant squid away, which means that's what I just saw. <laughs> Great. 
Clearly another specimen affected by the leaking structure gel. Partially covered in scales and newly formed bone structure protruding through the mantle. Great! It's not a robo-shark, it's a robo-giant squid. Is that more or less terrifying? Uh, I think it's more. Probably more. 188. Target unknown, 40 centimeters. The creatures disfigured by the gel are manic and will attack anything. Still hard to determine how WoW has affected their behavior beyond their apparent aggression and affinity with light. The creatures seem to hunt something particular, something not present in this ecosystem. Well, it looks terrifying, but it seems to be relatively small. Statistics. Humpback whale. Population size. Not sure what the different colors pertain to, but it looks like there's a massive dip in 2103. I'm guessing that's probably when the catastrophic event happened. Let me guess, they all have dips at that time? <laughs> no data for this thing. Anglerfish. Yeah, I don't know what the different colors mean, though. Hmm. Okay, now I've got to go back outside. Great. Let's see what's this way. Is that a glow stick? Yeah, glow stick. Which is kind of weird, because it's not moving, even though it's blowing really, really hard. Uh, it's dark here, and I don't like that. I see very dim lights in the distance. Okay. Where the fuck do I go? I'm gonna have to go somewhere without a light, that's for sure. We go to the dim lights in the distance. Follow the cord. Here we go. Giant squid, giant squid, giant squid, giant squid, giant squid, giant squid, giant squid. What's that sound? Uh, what are those? No, oh, those are not friendly. Okay, we gotta keep moving. Piranha anglerfish monster things, a big school of them. A murder of them, a pride of them is coming to kill me. Are they afraid of light? Please tell me they're afraid of light. No, they're not really afraid of light. Okay. Giant squid afraid of light, those things not. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna look anywhere for anything. I'm just going towards the light. Don't look behind you. Safety, safety, safety. Oh, okay. <sighs> really wish I could close that door, but I guess I'm fine. The giant squid certainly can't come in there, but that school of fish could.
This is Tau. Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Theta calling. I got a team with me, and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward, and the wildlife you got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. The instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critter should leave you alone. All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tau, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. I'm sorry, that that is just not true. Stick to the lights does not keep all the critters away. Those That school of fish came within, like, a couple feet of the light. Right, please tell me this one won't break. <sighs> okay. Good, 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 good. It's a geothermal energy system, I think. Science. Ooh. Can I pilot that? Or is that a robot? I'm not sure, but either way, it looks like a... Looks like something that's gonna give me light. Which is exactly what I need right now. Let's go see if we can get that thing out. Oh. No need to get it out. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. That section when you're on the, uh, I think it's like an island or something, and it's just really stormy and you've got to walk on ledges next to the sea while it's blowing and stuff. Oh, fuck. Status, unable to retrieve data. Alright, fine, whatever. I feel like something's about to bite my head off any second, but I guess I'm safe here. Uh, where am I? Uh. Offline. Offline. Okay, so it's going there now, I just gotta follow it. It's not gonna wait for me, it looks like. So let's keep up. Uh. <laughs> Stop flashing your lights! If this thing breaks, I'm screwed. Because I don't know where the hell I'm going and I'm going to be completely lost and without lights. my light. Okay, let's stick near the glow sticks. Hmm. Let's follow the glow sticks. Okay, cave, good. It can't come in here. Hey! Sea spiders. They're kinda cool. I mean, it's not like they can hurt me. I'm in a freaking power suit. They couldn't possibly hurt me. Well, the fact that they're everywhere, including above my head, is really creepy. I'm obviously supposed to go that way towards the glow stick, so I'm really curious what's this way. Is 
this just loop around? Yeah. Alright, so this is a bit of a maze. I've got two ways to go that way, or this way. Let's go this way. I think the game was trying to creep me out with arachnophobia under the water. Trying to combine fear of water with fear of spiders, but I'm not afraid of spiders. Although, if you're one of those people that was scarred by Jaws as a kid, and you're, you are arachnophobic, then I'm very sorry, because you're probably really freaked out right now. Okay, I guess I went the right way. Oh, that's what that light was! It's an anglerfish! You- are you- are you coming in here? Oh fuck, the thing's actually coming in here. Right, it's small enough. Are you coming all the way in here? Mm-hmm! Things holding its lantern of doom in front of its face so it can see the way. Huh. Which way are you gonna go? Please go the other way so I can slip past you. I don't know if it can sense me in any way. I don't I don't know. Okay, it's coming this way, cool. I don't know if it sees me and it's just coming at me very slowly and it can't move fast, or if it just doesn't see me and it's just patrolling. I don't know. I assume it can swim faster, because it seems awfully slow. Let's loop around. I think we'll be okay. It is, thankfully, very, very slow. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Those tricky bastards. They put that light there so that I would go towards it. I went towards it thinking, hey, that might be, like, my one light in this place. Nope. Alright, let's go towards the very, very, very distant light that I can barely see. Just watching over me. I'm not looking up. I'm not looking up. I'm not looking behind. I'm going towards the lights. I'm almost there. Yeah. What is all this stuff? All this, like, rebar stuff. Or, not rebar, girders? Whatever those are. I think they're girders. Please let me in. Oh, thank god. Close this freaking thing.
couldn't have been happier to be inside. Let's find the Ark. Yeah. No kidding. All right, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to look for the Ark.